Hey there, Paul James here, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about how I handle my, uh, my CRM system, or um, Customer Relationship Management. Um, and I use this mainly for prospecting. So when I'm going out and trying to get new clients, I use this to be able to keep track of who I've already talked to, uh, what I said to them. Um, I use it to actually go in and create an account so that I know that they bought something from me. And um, I'm just going to kind of walk you through the process. So, you know, if you're going and making calls or whatever, or whatever you're doing to actually go and prospect, um, you know, calling works great. A lot of people don't like to do it, but bottom line is it, it works really good. And I can give you some tips for, um, for doing that. But let me kind of um, show you how this works. So um, I use this free CRM. It's called Zoho. And it's just zoho.com forward slash CRM. Um, and I really like it. It's um, I believe it's free for the first five users, so uh, I haven't paid anything for it. Um, there's some pricing here, though. I think they do have um, some, you know, some more advanced stuff or free for three users. So, I mean, this is plenty, up to five thousand people. So once you, you know, you get into hundred thousand records, or you need more. It's only like twelve dollars per month. So, um, you're not looking at much cost-wise. I mean, a lot of you will be able to run with this. Um, for free for a, a long time and since I'm using it just for prospecting um, you know that that works pretty well for me just the free version and then um, when I actually set my customers up um, I use um, some different software like FreshBooks and I also use Cashew accounting um, and, and one of them I use for generating invoices FreshBooks and then Cashew which is it's just K-A-S-H-O-O -O, I use that for actually like tracking um, you know, like profit and loss and stuff. So um, this is kind of what I use. Um, all of this stuff, Cashew is free too. Um, FreshBooks is free to a certain point, um, and then you have to pay for it. But um, So let me kind of walk you through Zoho and show you kind of how it works. Um, it's really cool. I'm going to be blocking out some stuff, obviously. So let me enter in my uh, username and password. And uh, okay, so this is what it looks like. And, and again, I'm going to have to block out my customer information in here. Um, but this is what you're presented with when you kind of walk in. Um, you have this, this screen, which is leads. And I'll show you kind of the way it works. Um, every time I talk to someone on the phone, um, or, or however I talk to them, whether you get a warm lead or a cold lead, you know, because there's going to be warm leads where people you emailed and then you set up appointments with them to call them. Um, so regardless, once I talk to them on the phone and we've established communication, whether it's warm or cold, I create them into my Zoho system as a lead. Okay, and this is just a lead. They're you know they haven't bought anything. Once they buy something, I, I move them over into my account section, and that's pretty much just what I use in here. I use leads and accounts, and I'll show you how it works. So if I wanted to create a new lead, for example, this is how I would do it. Um, you can also assign lead owners, so like if you have other people working for you, you can assign leads to them, which is kind of cool. Um, but for me, I just I just use one thing um, because I'm I'm pretty much always the one talking to the customers, and um, if someone else is talking to them, I have just one central login so that just to keep things simple. So um, for company, you know, you could put their company name. Um, if they don't have a company name or they're just an individual you're working with, you could just put like their first and last name here. Let's just say it was a company name. Let's just say it was, you know, Bob's Plumbing or whatever. And we talked to, uh, to Bob uh, Anderson on the phone. Um, and then I would put their email address here. And, and this is good because, I mean, you have all this information, but I'll show you why I really like it. So just say bob.anderson at plumbing.com, for example. I'll put his phone number here. Okay, and then any other information you want to grab. Um, I'll, I'll normally grab the website. Um, they have the option to, you know, put in the lead source where the lead came from, which is kind of cool. And, um, you know, lead status. So you could say, you know, you attempted to contact them. I don't really use this lead status stuff. I'll show you what I do instead. And I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way to do things, but that's just the way I do it. By the way, this can do all kinds of other cool things like mass email and stuff. I haven't messed with any of those settings either, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So address information, description. So this is normally what I do. I just leave it at this. I hit save. And I use this note section right here to keep track of my leads. So I'll say like uh, today's like April 2nd. So I'll say April 2nd, 2014. Call Bob. And he seemed, you know, incredibly... 
incredibly interested in um, getting a Google Plus local listing verified and ranked on the first page. And I'll, and I'll talk about pricing. That's always important because, you know, we're not always billing our clients the same price. So I'll say, um, you know, confirmed maybe $7.95 per month with a $500 startup fee. We'll call back in morning for payment. So this is kind of what I do. I, I just save notes because as I'm talking to people all day, I don't want to forget what happened. Um, I guess I, I've always been putting the date in here, but I guess I actually do track the date, which is kind of cool. Um, and if you want to add another note, you can just add another note and save it. And this is really cool. And when you start to add multiple users into this, if you're going to do that, um, it's cool because it shows who left the note and stuff. Now, um, I'm going to go back home. I want to show you what I really like about this. Now, most uh, CRM systems I found, like the paid ones like Salesforce and stuff, I found that their search options were incredibly buggy. Like, I want to know if I type in a phone number, I want to know that um, it's going to pull up records for that phone number. Um, and, and these are where the other CRM systems I think kind of lack. They, um, you know, you pull up like the phone number and it won't search all the phone numbers or it'll only search first name and last name or it won't search email address. Well, I want to make sure in case some information was entered in different, I want to make sure that when I type in 444-222-3333 that I'm going to be presented with Bob's Plumbing. And that's what I really like about it. So if I'm going through and I'm calling and I need to see if I ever talked to Bob's Plumbing before, I can do that with you know just a click of the button. And of course, all our leads are here on the lead page. You know, you can see I've got tons of them in here. Um, and again, I'm going to have to block these out because these are these are my customers. But that's what's really cool. So I'm going to click back on Bob's Plumbing again. And this is what I do when I actually go and turn them into an account. And I do this just so I don't really do anything else with it after this point. Um, other than just kind of put in what I sold them. But the reason why I do this is because I want to know if I um, if I talked to this person before so that I'm not pitching them the same thing. So what I do is I come up here and I hit convert and I'm on a lead right now. I hit convert and it's going to create a new account for Bob's Plumbing and that's it. I just hit convert. And now I've got Bob's Plumbing as an account. Okay. And and this is a separate page. So now I'd want to add notes for this account saying, you know, I converted um, I converted Bob's Plumbing today into a $795 a month uh, Google Maps client or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that account because I, I don't need that in my system anymore. And then I should be good to go. Um, okay, so that's really cool. Um, I'm going to search again, make sure I deleted it completely. I did. Okay, so that's really cool. Um, it's really awesome features of it so I just kind of wanted to show you that now when you're when you're talking to clients on the phone um, and you're trying to sell them something you need to get it out of your head that you need to sell them on the service because you don't need to sell them on the service um, the service to them is really they really don't care they could care less at least not when you first talk to them um, if you want to sell something to someone you need to sell them on um, the benefits of the service what they're gonna get the end result okay You've got, you've got the, um, the process to get them the end result, right? And that's what they're paying for is that process to get them the end result. But they need to be sold on the end result and they need to be sold on the fact that they need it and you can give it to them. That's what they need to be sold on. And a lot of people get caught up on, you know, I'm going to sell them um, social media management or I'm going to sell them uh, Google Plus local listings or I'm going to sell them a mobile website or I'm going to sell them leads, okay? All of this really comes down to the end point of what they really want, right? Which is what? They want new customers, more money. So you need to sell them on the fact that you can get them new customers, all right? And the process of how you're going to do that might be any of those things, but you need to sell them on that fact first. And when you do that, you're going to find that things go a lot easier when you're talking to people. Um, another big mistake people make when they're talking to people on the phone is they, um, they often will just talk, 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 talk about them, what they do, what their service is, how awesome it is. And a lot of times, the easiest sales to make, that I find anyway, the easiest sales to make are when you don't do much talking at all. You simply ask a question and you let them talk and you listen. And by listening, um, you're, you're, you're more well liked by them. Um, you get to learn more about them. And um, they're, they're, 
you know, telling you about what they need. And then you're able to present them with, with the solution, which is, of course, almost always when you're dealing in our industry, it's almost always, you know, more customer. So I hope that these little tips kind of help you. Um, if you if you kind of need something to sell them, um, you know, I've got some really awesome training on Google Plus Local. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you've checked out my Maps Mentor yet. Uh, if you want, head over there, mapsmentor.com. Uh, I sell them Google Plus local services for around $1,000 a month. Um, and, and that's basically ranking in a seven pack listing. So like if you were to head over to um, Google and type in dentist, this listing that pops up, this is normally almost always my end result is to sell them this, sell them a ranking here on this first page, okay? So, you know, if you need something to sell, this is a service that you can sell. And I, I highly recommend you check that out. Um, another thing is is when you're selling something, if you can give them a trial of what you're selling, you'll almost always have better results. Um, or even if you can have it done ahead of time to show them, you know, you'll almost always have better results because you have something to show them. So um, that's kind of the power in selling, and um, that's my my CRM system that I use. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and pass it on if you liked it, or leave a comment. And uh, thanks for watching.